Good afternoon, everyone. It is 12.53 p.m. on Thursday, April 18th, 2024. You know, I heard Flick is taking time off here on Pineapple. He loves our bug so much. If you have any to share with him, then that's all for, day, for today. Have fun out there. So, I don't know if Flick was on the island. That's cool that Isabel told me because it's been a while since... So, like, I think I have a couple of bugs stored up on my island and in my storage. And, oh, wow. It looks like it's going to rain. At least soon-ish. So, let's just... I'm going to show you a bit what I'm going to do before I really start doing stuff. But, yeah, those are dark clouds. Those are definitely rain clouds. So, as you can see, this area right here, I'm going to give you a brief tour of it before I um, tear it all down. But before, let's catch all these bugs. There's so many. Yeah, there's a lot of butterflies. I guess I haven't played in the, um, let's see, the uh, afternoon. It's usually late at, latish at night, like 7 or 8 o'clock, when they're not all there. And there's not many bugs, so this is cool. This is great. And I have a flimsy net, you can see. And, oh, it looks like I caught this bug instead of this butterfly. It's called a paper kite. Butterfly, yep, paper kite. Well, that's cool, I was right. I'm surprised. I think I caught these bugs so many times because they're common that I just kind of remembered the name. So as you can see, I got all these flowers and cliffs gone. I spent a couple hours just clearing this out, and you would be surprised how long this takes. And this area, it's all gone. All the flowers, all the crops that I used to have. I had potatoes, I had tomatoes... I had um, sugar cane, wheat, and pumpkins. All the different crops in the game I had right there. Let's just catch this bug here. Oh, I can't grab it. There you go. But I had all the different crops right there. And I would time travel back and forth. I would have my crops. And then I would have it rain. So I would find a day where it rains. I would go back to that day. Have the rain. Light it down. And then go three days ahead, and then grab all the crops, and then sell them, and then do that over and over. So I made a ton of bells really quickly. The problem was, it just took up so much, like, room on my island that I could do something with. And I want to clear out my island, and start over, and make it to something I want. Because my island has gone through so many different changes. I used to have... In that area with all those buildings and items, that used to be a bunch of villager homes. All my villagers were in there. It was completely covered in pathing. Even earlier before that, that's where my home was. And the pathing. And then when I finally got the water permit, I think it's called. I messed with the rivers a bunch. So I just have to try to make it look nicer. And I'm taking pictures because I'm trying to find my weather seed right now with the meter nook. I believe it's called. So I'm just kind of trying to take a picture just in case if I mess it up I can refer to this. I would definitely try to do that if you haven't already done it because it just adds more to do on Animal Crossing. How cool would it be to know your weather? And it is 1.02 p.m. so it must start raining at 2 o'clock which is interesting but a nice cloudy day. I don't mind that. And all those flowers are cleared and right here I'm just gonna go around and catch some more bugs. So I'm going to show you this brief couple clips of me catching lots and lots of bugs. Now I'm going to show you a very interesting clip that is very quick, but I paused the clip so you can see exactly what I saw, which I thought was very interesting. So I'm going to show you the clip right now. Now if you didn't notice anything strange with that clip, did you see Sky in the background there? So, Timmy and Tommy kicked me out, but as I came through the door, um, Sky was not there. 
which I thought was pretty funny. What did she walk out before me, even though I was much closer to the door? Which I, it's okay. Then I have one more clip I'm going to show you. And it is in the museum for coffee. It is time for coffee. I would pay 200 bells for my coffee, please. I think that's a very affordable price. Now you can pour me my coffee. It's hard work, especially digging flowers. We just need a break for my coffee. Thank you. I believe this cup especially for you. Drink up, cool. Why, thank you. But you just poured it. I can see it steaming. It's way too hot. Nope, still too hot. What? I don't drink. I don't scold my mouth. I get the sense you like your coffee on the lukewarm side. I sure do. I'm not picky. Okay, I don't want to hit. I'm not picky. I sure do. I like my coffee cool-ish so it doesn't burn my mouth. Let it cool. Let's continue to let it cool. Just continue this over and over. I wonder if it's just like infinite. I would be curious if it is infinite or if there's like a limit where you just like, you just can't do it anymore. You are forced to drink it or you just don't use it anymore. Like you don't drink it. I'd be curious, but my guess so far what I've been doing is it's infinite. So, I skipped ahead a bit on this part because it is infinite. I've been doing this for like five minutes. I was just going this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, I believe that it's, it's just infinite. I, yeah, I've been going at this for six, seven, eight, nine minutes. But I want to continue. I just want to see. Just, you gotta keep, con okay, yeah, it's coffee time, I decided. Let's drink my nice, warm, cold coffee. I don't know if it's warm. I don't know if it's cold. But my character, my player, or character, seem to enjoy it with a cooler temperature. So, nice, cold coffee is still good. Maybe in winter time, wouldn't it be funny if you had a cut and went to get a cup of coffee and you just let it freeze and then you took it out into the freezing cold temperatures and just froze? Wouldn't that be funny? Or in the summertime, you can take a cold coffee and you can drink it while it's a scolding hot coffee, while it's scolding hot outside. I actually think that would be kind of funny. Now, I'm going to show you a bit of what I'm going to plan before I actually do it. So, you can come back to this video, or I can come back to this video in three months or so, and see what my island looked like before. Oh, my net broke. Oh, those are expensive. 3,000 bells. Let me go get another one. But anyways, what I was saying before is that I can come back to this video or something and be like, oh, that's what my island looked like before. I did all this terraforming, I added trees, I added buildings, furniture, moved all the stuff around. So I'm just going to kind of walk around. This is going to be like before my mega progress on my island. Hi Timmy, Tommy. Let's just buy another net. I kind of like this net variation. I don't see the shovels change very much. And I might buy that t uh, table over there. Now that might be worth it. I'm going to have to definitely start making some more bells, too. I'm going to have to do the Happy Home Paradise and trade the Pokey, I believe that's the currency, for our bells. I th it's like 37,000 through 47,000, I believe, which is for only 20,000, 15,000, 20,000 Pokey, I think it is. It's been a while since I've actually done it. Oh, hi, Flick. You kind of scared me. You were completely on the other side of my island, and then you were just there. So I probably will trade in the bell, Pokey for Bells, because I need to pay off my home loan. I was doing some research the other day, and I found you can get the storage shed, which is really exciting to me, because you have infinite access to your storage everywhere, which would be amazing. So I need to get that recipe, and I have to pay off my storage home loan, I don't know if it has to be the max, but I believe if I pay off this one, I will be good. Now I'm just going to kind of destroy some of this anyways, because it's all going to be cleared out. 
Now I'm going to search for some bit, a bit of bugs, but I'm going to tell you really quick about the Zen Bridge. As you can see how it curves around. Now, it just went straight before. I did this curve because I had some more buildings built back up there. And then I built the Zen Bridge. Which is awful to me to think that I would have to destroy. I do not want to destroy this. This thing is expensive. So I will try to make sure I can expand the river around it. But if it doesn't turn out well, I might have to destroy it. Now for this, this is sadly going to have to go. You see the low wooden bridge? Let me open my camera app. And then you have the stone bridge. It doesn't really match it. I mean, I kind of want it to match. I kind of want you to go through it and look at it and be like, Oh, that looks very well organized. Not a stone bridge, and then a wooden bridge, and then the zen bridge, and then just a bunch of random different bridges. I want it to be more uniformed, if that makes sense. And look at all these bugs. i got to catch them before it starts to rain. It's, ve it's not very windy. It's usually windy I, when a storm comes in. I used to, I played so much Animal Crossing be before that I was actually kind of able to predict weather in a way. Sometimes I was right, sometimes I was incorrect. But you can kind of, oh, oh, I thought he went into the ocean. Oh, that's cool. I caught a Dyna Dragonfly. It was a little fast. I kind of clicked on it too fast. But I believe that's what it said. But all my residents hanging out in the plaza. Well. Oh. Maybe I have to um, go hang out, do like the group stretching. I kind of like that feature. I need to do it more. I'm just going to randomly kick this path thing because I know I'm going to have to clear it all out. Same with this area. This is all going to be cleared. But this area right here is all going to be cleared. There's nothing like spending two months. Like, no joke, that spent me two months. I designed, I collected... I looked up on the internet of what people did, designs, I kind of tried to make it my own, which took forever in this area to design. I remember la during the snowy part of the island, like in December, I was doing all that and building up that area. I added some Christmas decorations, even though it was like the day before Christmas. So then I took them back down. And you can see this cliff. I'm going to destroy this because I have a weird patch of island right there where it's super skinny. And there's hardly room for a path. So I probably will push that cliff back a bit more. And this area, um, I don't know what I would do with this area. I might leave it. Build a little pond like where this waterfall is because it's just a small piece of land. I don't know what to do with it. I might just turn it into like a little pond. Let's catch another one of these. By the end of this video, I'm going to be like, I'm going to have so much money, I'd be able to pay off my 1,500,000 bell loan. Wouldn't that be nice if catching bugs for 10 minutes would give you that much bells? That would be crazy. Oh, and the museum, I'm going to be moving. This is more of like a temporary area where I can move my buildings. I'm going to do it in sections. I'm going to do like... My lower part of my island first, and then I'm going to do the the second area of it, like the top, the second cliff, the second level, I think it's called. I couldn't think of the name. And you can see I'm going to open up my map, so I'm thinking up here, where I was just walking, where I'm going to have like a farm with some wheat, with the wheat fields. And I'm thinking Fauna could live up here, or Mac, or Freya, or Twiggy, one of those could. I just have to clean this up. I'm going to go in sections. Section 1 is where like, the plaza is. Section 2 is where the museum is. Section 3, the campsite and the shop. Section 4 is where I'm standing right now. Something like that. And you can see this tree that's starting to grow. Now, I have to try... I'm going to challenge myself to decorate a lot, but not so much that starts to kind of lag the game. Like this area right here... It starts to lag it a bit, and I don't want it to lag. It just kind of takes away some of the fun to it, so that'd be an interesting challenge to decorate. And I don't know lots of detail, but not over-decorating is then just glitchy. I don't want it to be glitchy. Well, 
I like my I like this area. It kind of makes me sad to destroy it. But I got what am I going to do? I want to make it my best island. I've spent four four years. The game came out in 2020. It is April. The game came out like the 10th, 20th, something like that. I don't remember the exact date, but you can see as it gets later and later into this hour, it starts to get darker and darker. But I want to make my pineapple island the best island I can. And that is this for that is it for this episode of just telling you what my plans are before I start doing it. In the next episode, I'm going to have a ton of progress done. But that's it for me today. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.